broom. Big broom. Hey guys, it's me, Art of Wonder, and this is gonna be a Q&A video. Yeah. And I'm going to apologize right now if I mispronounce any usernames. I'm so sorry. And uh, let's get started. Uh, so I received several questions when I made a lecture of that I wanted to make questions, and a lot of you responded. So I want to thank you so much for that because it was really awesome. And yeah. Uh, sorry for my weirdness. Okay, so the first question is by Cousins underscore crafts, and she asked me, I'm Gracie Everhart on YouTube, and my question is, what all crafts do you do? Um, all crafts that I do is Palmer clay. I want to start resin this summer, so yeah. Um, I like drawing sometimes when I'm really, 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 um, that's about it. Mainly I do Palmer Clay. Or sometimes I like doing bracelets, that's something. I want to start Rainbow Loom eventually. Maybe start duct tape, you never know. And stuff like that. I mean, I don't do many. Oh, and I love doing DIYs. Love it. <laughs> DIYs and I get along so well since it has to do with recycling and I'm a big fan of recycling. Big fan. If you didn't know, I have several DIYs, so make sure you check that out. Next person, Sweetie We Love asks me, how long have you been crafting and what are your inspirations? I've been crafting since uh, for a couple years now. I don't really have an estimate about it. I guess you could say about well, like three to four years about, not sure, around there, five. Um, and sh t my inspirations is Tony, Tony Allison or uh, like YouTube wise, YouTuber wise, yeah, that. Um, I like to get my inspirations from Instagram. I follow a lot of crafters on Instagram. Um, Pinterest, I love looking on pictures when I'm bored. And things like that, or drawing websites as well. And yeah. Okay, Lords underscore hair asks me, good tips to keep clay clean. Um, good tips to keep keep your clay clean. I would suggest you using clear tape or any type of tape to, to remove the dirt gently. Um, you can use nail polish remover as well. It's pretty good, but after you make your clay because it's flammable. X Christine X asked me two questions, and she asked me who was the first person you got inspired for, to make crafts. And I would have to say um, either Funky Pink Owl, Tony Allison, or Paper Pastels. What did, out of those three people inspired me to do Palmer Clay, which was pretty awesome. So yeah, it's out of those three people. Um, and she. Uh, She also asked me what inspired you to make YouTube a YouTube account for arts and crafts, and what inspired me to do that was basically my my YouTube account was once for Sims related gameplays and stuff like that, and I was obsessed with Sims at one point in my life, which was just re ridiculous. Um, I don't know, if you guys never played Sims, it's a pretty fun virtual PC game that you could play when you're bored, and you can make your own family, and it's a lifestyle game, and it's pretty cool and awesome, I don't know, it's weird, but um, yeah, but now my thing is an art of wonder account, so I'm, I'm pretty, I've pretty much grown through the years, and I just finally have a hobby that I enjoy and love, so now I have an Arts and Crafts YouTube instead of a Sims one, so yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, the next person who asked me a question was, how long have you been making clay, oh, her username, underscore Danny, underscore, she said, how long have you been making clay, and also, where do you get your clay? Okay. Sorry. Sorry. How long have I been making clay, um, I don't make clay. <laughs> Pretty sure you meant how, like, how long have you been making charms? Um, 
how long have I been making charms? It's been like, I could just write an Instagram question, but yeah. Um, for about a couple years now, four to five. I think about. Don't take my word on it. I'm estimating. Um, yeah, and she asked me where do I get my clay. I purchased my clay a long time ago from AC Moore, but now I don't since I've moved. So now I purchased from Hobby Lobby, which is the best place ever. I suggest all you crafters buy from there because it has cheap, reasonable prices compared to Michael's where they just, it's just ridiculous. But um, yeah, I've purchased once or twice from Michael's, but no, we don't have Michael's here. When I, like a year ago, I purchased from Michael's, but yeah. We have a Joann's here though, and I've never yet purchased over there, but I eventually will in the future. So next, person who asked me a question was Crafty Jazzy 2001 She asked me, how do I keep my clay clean? Basically, I keep my clay clean from clear tape or any type of tape that I have near me in the polish remover after I bake my charms. Uh, Jeweled by Bia asked me, does polymer clay expire? Now, I don't think it does, but don't take my word on it because I'm not sure. I mean, I never had like my clay expire like that, but I haven't had my clay for so long, so I, I'm not sure. Um, she also asked me, how long is it good for the clay? I'm gonna say for about a year or so because I've had a few, a couple of big pieces of clay not in the packaging, and it's just roamed around my room or like on my desk. It's ridiculous, and it's a bad habit. I do not suggest any of you guys going for that habit because it's, it's it's not appropriate. It's, it's not. It's ridiculous, and I need help for that <laughs> because oh, it's like. Mm -mm. But yeah, um, hopefully I can get up to. I once had my clay organized, but until like when I start crafting, I take all my clay out, put it everywhere, and then it's ridiculous and it's a mess. So yeah. But that's pretty much all the questions I am going to answer today. And if you guys will have any more questions for me, make sure you do comment down below in the description because I will be sure to answer in my next Q&A video. And yes, if you guys like more videos like this, please let me know because it's something new and I rarely do. Because I'm not sure if you guys would enjoy that. And yeah. So stay tuned to future videos which I have a lot of coming tutorials and stuff like that. So stay tuned to that. Um, please do request any videos if you have any video ideas for me to do. I will love for your suggestions. Down below in the description. Down below in the comments. Um, make sure you do check my description because I do fill it up every other day when I post videos. And I leave my links down there so if you don't mind, make sure you check my links down below because I would really love that a lot. A lot. But yeah. Please press the like button because I will put a lovely smile on my face and it will make my day. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a rate, comment, and subscribe. Oh, subscribe, wherever the button is. <laughs> and yeah, thanks. thank you guys so much for supporting me. And also, my next giveaway will be as soon as I reach 1,500 subscribers and I'm almost there, which is exciting. I'm almost to 1,200. So yeah, I hope I reach that by this weekend. If I don't, hopefully by next weekend. Because it's exciting every time I get a new subby and every time I get a new person to come to my channel and join my journey to hopefully expanding my channel. So it's pretty awesome. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and yeah, I really do appreciate it. Bring it in for a cyber hood. Bring it in, bring it in. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Mm -hmm. Ow, my butt. Ow, that hurt. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, if you guys didn't know, my favorite snack is Fruit Loop. I said Fruit Loop, so I'm such a dummy. Fruit roll ups. What's wrong with me? Don't take offense with my ugly accent either. Uh. I hope you guys enjoyed this lovely video and my randomness. And this is a weird close up to my face. Eat fruit roll ups.
It makes you happy. Mm. Bye, my lovely subscribers. Bye. Yeah. Such cutie. Oh yes, that's cute. Oh my god, I'm choking on my fruit roll up. Boy, guys, spread the love. Bye, guys. <laughs> Sorry for my weirdness.